In order to assist you in using the Immunicom antibody test kits, Biogale Laboratories have produced the Immunicom antibody test kit instruction video. This instruction video will give you an audio-visual assistance on how to successfully develop and interpret test results by using the Immunicom antibody test kits for selected canine, feline and avian diseases. So firstly, what is the Immunicomb Antibody Test Kit? Biogale's Immunicomb Kit is a quick, simple and portable dot ELISA based test. The Immunicomb provides quantitative, semi-quantitative and qualitative results. So, how does Immunicomb work? The kit contains all the necessary agents for developing the test. Results for the tests are obtained in most cases within 21 minutes. The components for the kits are as follows. Immunicomb comb wrapped in an aluminium foil. Developing plate. Disposable tweezers. Calibrated comb scale. And a unit of capillary tubes and one piston. Instruction manual. So let's go through this process step by step. Firstly, it is important to store the kit under normal refrigeration, and that means 2 to 8 degrees Celsius or 36 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit. Do not freeze this kit. Before conducting the test, ensure that all the kit elements and the specimen to be tested are at room temperature for at least 60 to 120 minutes before you actually test. You can speed up this process if you incubate only the developing plate for 22 minutes at 37 degrees Celsius or 98.6 degrees Fahrenheit. Take a sample of blood from your pet being tested. Use a pipette or capillary tube to draw blood or serum from your test sample. For the testing of whole blood, use 10 microliters. For the testing of serum or plasma, use 5 microliters. If I are using the capillary tubes contained in the kit, there are two markings on the capillary tube. The lower fine line if using serum and the higher fine line if using whole blood. Use the tweezers to pierce a protective aluminium cover of row A, one well for each specimen. Deposit a sample into a well in row A. Raise and lower the pipette or piston plunger several times to achieve fine and well mixing. Do not open any well of row A or other rows which you do not intend to use. Remove the comb from its protective envelope. For testing less than 12 samples, cut or break the comb by folding in allocated notches for the number of tests required. Insert the comb into the open well in row A, printed side facing you, and incubate for 5 minutes. To improve mixing, gently dip the comb up and down at the start of each incubation. Repeat this motion at least twice in all the remaining rows. Use tweezers to pierce the foil in the next row, which would be row B, and insert comb for two minutes. Gently shake off excess liquid from the comb teeth onto a piece of tissue. Insert the comb into the next well, row C, for five minutes. Place the comb into the remaining wells, row D and E, for two minutes and the last well, which is row F, for five minutes. Upon completion of the color development in row F, move the comb back to row E for the next two minutes for color fixation. Take the comb out and let the comb dry for one to ten minutes. Now, let's examine exactly what is the comb, comb scale and how is it used. The comb scale is basically a simple to use measuring device used to quantify your test results. 
When the comb is completely dry, align it with the calibrated colour comb scale provided in the kit. Find the tone of purple grey on the comb scale that most closely matches the control spot on the upper spot of the comb scan, known as the positive reference spot. Slide the yellow ruler until the C plus mark appears in the window above the colour you just found. Hold the ruler slide in this position during the entire reading and don't move it anymore. This step actually calibrates the C plus to the reference number known as S3, which is the cutoff point to which test spots will be compared. While holding the slide, find the tone of purple grey on the COM scale that most closely matches the desired test result spot, one of the lower spots. In other words, compare the colour tone to the test spot with the positive reference spot on the COM scale. The COM scale S value is the positive is the number that appears in the yellow window corresponding to the colour tone when the positive reference colour is calibrated to S3. So test numbers will range from S0 to S6. The upper middle spot on the comb gives a result of K9 hepatitis IgG antibodies in the specimen. The lower middle spot on the comb gives a result of K9 parvo virus IgG antibodies in the specimen. The bottom spot on the COM gives the results of K9 distemper IgG antibodies in the specimen. Remember, these colors and these tests are specific for the VaxiCheck. A color tone that is equal or darker than the reference spot is considered a positive response. Repeat this step with every test spot separately. A faint color tone of S1 or less is considered a negative result. The results of the dry comb may be kept as a record, as the colour of the dots do not fade. Another way to read the results is by using the ComScan. This is a software program that utilises a computer and a compatible scanner. This should only be used when very large volumes of tests are interpreted. Note that this interpretation is specific for the Immunicomb K9 VaxiCheck antibody test kit. If you are using a different immunocomb PET test kit, check the interpretation specific to that kit. Please refer to the immunocomb instruction manual for a detailed and precise explanation. If at any stage you feel that you need more information, please visit the, Vi the Biogal website www.biogal.co.il you may also contact a Biogal representative in your country or contact Biogal directly. Mm -hmm.